Charlie, I've got to say, they are just good, aren't they? And they'll have to be five days to put this musical together. It's all singing, it's all dancing, and it's all for a good cause. For children in need, of course, and they're going to perform this in front of thousands of people this evening. Are they ready? Let's find out. Bethany, if you don't mind me asking you very quickly to take a break from the painting. Sure, of course, yes. You've had five days to get this all together. How's yeah. it been? Oh, incredible. It's been amazing. It's been such a fantastic opportunity to meet some amazing people. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just been a kind of a whirlwind, really, yeah. Have you ever done anything like this before? No. I mean, yeah, but not in a week. <laughs> no. uh, talk to me about the rehearsals. I mean, five days, what's it been like? It must be pretty intense. Yeah, very intense, yeah. Um, really fun, but like a uh, really good positive atmosphere. Because we have to, really, because it's quite stressful. Um, yeah, it's been very intense. Like, normally, I would speak to the choreographers. Apparently, they normally do a minute. This. Pretty much 24/7. Not gonna lie. Um, like we're in like nine till nine officially, but then like you go home and you learn it all and you consolidate it all and then you paint some props and then by the time you've done that, you might as well have brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Brilliant. Look, I'll let you get back to it then. Right. I think you've got a little bit more to do. Yeah. I promise I'll be back to help out later though. Let's speak to some of the chaps now who have been behind this. First of all, I'm going to speak to Mark. Mark, you are in charge here, essentially, of all these students. Whenever you first found out about this idea. I mean, were you quite daunted by the prospect of doing a musical in just five days? Well, just really excited. I mean, not, I'm not so much daunted. Um, so I got in touch with Perfect Pitch, invited them in to kind of manage the, the project. And they've done a fantastic job bringing really high caliber practitioners and professionals from a whole range of musical theatre aspects of work. So not just performers, but creatives, writers. Uh, we had a casting director in. And in actual fact, they've really only had half a week to rehearse it because there was a, there was a day and a half of writing and creative work, then there was a casting day. So, yeah, the pressure's really been on and, uh, you know, we've got a few hours left, but it's all looking good. It's incredible just listening to them this morning. You would not think that they've just been at this for a few days. I mean, they're clearly a very talented bunch. They're great. And they, you know, there's no surprise to me that they've risen to this challenge. Uh, so, yeah, but it's, it's, what they do here is fantastic. Now, let's have a quick word with Andy. Now, Andy, you are the creative producer here. Yeah. And this is something that is going to have a legacy afterwards. This isn't just about one night, is it? No, after this, we'll be next year, which will be great. I think that is just incredible as well to think about not just the work that's gone into this, but the fact that it actually demonstrates what can be done and you don't need to be down in London at the West End to put something like this together. No, I mean, the University of Central Lancashire have been brilliant. They've resourced this initial part of the uh, project. It's been brilliant because it's not enough giving the students a real life learning experience. But beyond that, it was also helping children in need, which is also spread to them further. I think more drama schools and colleges should do something like this. It is fantastic. Well, we've got plenty more to discuss. We are going to find out later on as well what the musical is going to be called. Children in Need the Musical. It's a snappy title, but this does have a name, and we're going to find out some of the storyline as well. But I will leave you with some of the talented people here in Children in Need the Musical. Sounding fine voice there. It's brave, isn't it? Brave. <laughs> Quick turnaround. Children in Need, of course, uh, have an all-star lineup tonight. It includes a special performance for the cast of EastEnders, revealing some hidden talents as they sing their round, uh, way around the square. That's all happening tonight. Children in Need, 7.30, BBC One, of course. So, on breakfast in a few moments, we're going to have a summary of the morning's news, but we're also celebrating a significant birthday for a special character, Fireman Sam. It's 30 today. Hasn't slowed down a bit. He's um, still to be found helping out the people of Ponty Pandy. Yes, yeah, so we can ask Fireman Sam a few questions now. Fireman Sam, what's it been like for the last uh, 30 years? What's it like turning 30? Oh, How comfortable is the sofa, Fireman Sam? Do you get the impression Fireman Sam can't speak? Fireman Sam won't speak. Yeah. But we like Fireman Sam. We've got him. Here's our guest. Was we talking... Well... He, she, we'll be talking to you later on, <laughs> signing you. OK, enough. Time to get the news travelling weather where you are. Bye. Hey, Naga, that's right. It's all singing. It's all dancing. 
and it's all for a good cause. And just like many musicals all across the country, minutes, hours, days, months of planning, which normally goes into that, these guys have had just five days. And look, isn't it incredible? They're going to be performing this tonight in front of thousands of people, all in the name of children in need. Let's find out just how they've been getting on. If you don't mind me asking you very quickly, Katie, how have the rehearsals been going? Five days, that's not very long, is it? It's been absolutely crazy. Like We've been doing really long hours. We've been doing nine till nine every day, but it doesn't really end when you go home. So we've all been going home and learning lines and learning songs and doing props and stuff like that. So it's been really good. It's been amazing. A lot of hard work, I can imagine. Brendan as well. You've had a few famous faces helping you out too, haven't you? Yeah, we've had people like Claire Sweeney come in. Mike Xavier has just been on Broadway with the improvisation with someone like uh, Ruth Bratt and it was just so good. We didn't think we'd ever get to do anything like that and the fact we've been able to has just been amazing. And I'm loving the pod's ears as well. Keep up the good work. I'll let you get back to all the rehearsals. I'm trying to stay out of trouble here myself because I've been warned they go pretty quickly and they can run you over. Let's speak now quickly to Andy Barnes. Andy, you are the creative producer here. Yeah. Five days to get this together. That's not long, is it? It's been crazy. I mean, you usually have three or four weeks rehearsal for a musical. Even a, a short musical like this can take a lot of time to put together. We've had some brilliant people in to help us do it. We've got professional West End choreographers, directors, writers. So the whole thing has been a real team effort. And talk me through this evening. What happens tonight then? So there'll be a performance here um, and there's also another group going over to uh, the Museum of Science and Industry and they'll do a live link over there for children in need so they'll get a little bit more uh, coverage later on which would be great. Now I'm going to speak to Lawrence Mark White. Lawrence, you're the man behind this, the creative juices behind all this. Trying to write this has been, this, you know, several months and weeks in the planning for this, but I mean, it's just incredible to think that this has all been put together in five days. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's a process that normally takes kind of a year, a year and a half that's been done in a couple of months. Um, maybe even longer normally, but uh, yeah, a couple of months and the students have had a week with the material to create this, yeah. So they've had a lot of input into the, uh, the content of the show, yeah. And, I mean, this is something you have a huge amount of experience in, probably in a much bigger scale. Well, yeah, I mean, I've been doing it for a long time, but this, the, 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 um, and you kind of learn each time you do it and kind of the, the skills that you have worked on on a different show, you can bring into this. And then when young people come at it with this energy, then uh, it kind of falls into place. Hopefully, yeah, when you've got great people working on the show. Now, Lawrence, we haven't revealed the name of the musical yet or any of the themes, but you're going to tell us now, aren't you? Yep, the show is called Extraordinary. Extraordinary. And what's it about? Well, uh, it's, so we wanted to write a show because of the Children in Need connection. We wanted to write a show that was very much about friendship and community and inclusivity. Um, and so this show is about a, a, a community, a, 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 especially a group of young people in a school. And, uh, and there's a, a, a kind of a strange uh, person in their midst that is revealed throughout the show. And then um, the story develops where that person, uh, their, their story kind of comes to the fore and community and kind of tears the community apart. And, the, and the, the, the children have to come together kind of to save the day. So it's a very uplifting, heartwarming, 
musical story. <laughs> Lawrence, uplifting positive themes. And of course, that's what Children in Need is all about. It really is all for a good cause as well. And you can see these guys in action tonight. And I'm going to leave you with some of the guys from Children in Need, the musical. Extraordinary. Charlie. I've got to say, they are just good, aren't they? And they'll have to be five days to put this musical together. It's all singing, it's all dancing, and it's all for a good cause. For children in need, of course, and they're going to perform this in front of thousands of people this evening. Are they ready? Let's find out. Bethany, if you don't mind me asking you very quickly to take a break from the painting. Sure, of course, yes. You've had five days to get this all together. How's yeah. it been? Oh, I mean, yeah, but not in a week. <laughs> no. uh, talk to me about the rehearsals. I mean, five days, what's it been like? It must be pretty intense. Yeah, very very intense, yeah. Um, really fun, but like uh, really good positive atmosphere. It's been oh, incredible. It's been amazing. It's been such a fantastic opportunity to, to meet some amazing people. Um, yeah, it's just it's just been a kind of a whirlwind, really. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever done anything like this before? No. Oh, do you really? Because it's quite stressful. Um, yeah, it's been very intense. Like normally, I speak to the choreographers. Apparently, they normally do a minute.